Chinese people worry about not having enough fish in the rivers and in the lakes. What with all the pollution and overfishing, China's fish stocks are dwindling. So imagine their surprise when a Weibo post informed them of the plight of the Great Lakes, where an invasion of Asian carp might prompt the government to spend $18 billion to rein in the fish invasion. According to the Weibo post that cites USA Today, the Army Corps' 232-page report for the government has led officials to believe that the best method to tackle the carps is to physically separate the waterways, which will require 25 years and an investment of 15 to 18 billion dollars. Another option, which takes less time and only costs 8 billion dollars, involves chemical treatments among other methods. However, as for Chinese internet users, the government seems to be overlooking a key option that could solve their problem. Eat the fish. And now let's take a look at some of their comments. Is it really this serious? I have never heard of anywhere with too much fish. Surely they can just send a lot of fishermen to go and take care of the problem. $18 billion over 25 years? Why not give this money to Chinese people? I'm sure we can solve the problem by eating the fish. Even though America is capable of saving the world, they are powerless in front of the fish invasion. In that aspect, China is able to help since we have had thousands of years of experience in making animals into delicious dishes. This all comes down to a difference in food culture. Americans don't like fish that has a lot of little bones. America should export the fish to China. I'm sure there will be a market here. While the Asian carp is a menace in the U.S., they have long been an auspicious symbol in China and has appeared in various Chinese literature and art. You can find all kinds of Chinese paintings that depict the carp as it is often seen as a symbol for prosperity. The carp is also notorious for its ability to jump, a feature which has been praised by ancient Chinese scholars. There's even a Chinese idiom that compares the jumping carp to the sudden uplift in one's social status through the imperial examination. Now, as a source of food, the grass carp remains a main delicacy in Hangzhou cuisine. The grass carp is well liked for its tenderness, as well as the fine consistency of its flesh and the unami flavor that seems to appear without much need for extra flavoring.